Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we'll have a little series of videos today called Fun Facts that come out of a, a book that uh, will be coming out about Microsoft and Windows in particular and some of the decisions that were taken. So we of course have a timeline if you've been in PC world for a long time, Windows 95, you know, Windows 3, Windows 95, Windows 98, uh, Millennium, then Windows XP, and of course there was the Windows 2000, which was more of for enterprise in general, but some people had Windows 2000. XP was based on that. And uh, then we moved on, Vista 7, 8, 8.1, and we jumped to 10, and one of the things that happened is that um, a lot of people were wondering why no Windows 9. And in fact, within Windows 11, still today, there are parts of it that reference and code to a certain Windows 9. So why does it reference to something that never happened, and why did it never happen? Well, it turns out that they had, apparently, a compatibility problem. So, because Windows 95 and 98 start with a 9, when they started working on Windows 9, they started having tons of issues with older software and even more modern software because of the references to what was an old system because it started with a 9. So, apparently, the lack of Windows 9 has to do with the problems arising from having a 9 within the system. So somebody at the time said, well, let's just, you know, rethink our roadmap and go ahead and go with Windows 10, which was the next version when that happened. So the jump from 8.1 to 10 was mostly compatibility driven apparently causing too much issues. And even with drivers, there would be some blue screening, all sorts of things were happening because there was some confusion. The code would confuse the nine with, but this is an old system. And um, <laughs> which is kind of interesting and has a lot to do with the backwards compatibility that Windows kept over the years. So this is what we learn in one of the little tidbits of information we get on uh, Windows 9 not existing. And um, that kind of is an interesting story. Uh, you know, the things we don't think about. When we program, we often say, you know, why are there many bugs and systems? Why are things, you know, working this way or that way or not working this way or that way? And we often have overlooked little tidbits like this. We often create code without realizing that some similarity in this code with something ancient or something that was in the past uh, or a different, um, basically, code uh, makes compatibility issues. And there's tons of things we don't think about that happen. And you're like, wow, OK, this is crashing because of that reason. So no Windows 9, apparently, because too many bugs, too many crashes, too many problems, as the system was you know, in some code, they thought they were referring to an old system like Windows 95 and 98. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.